A detailed examination of the skull of a woman who lived in central Italy in the medieval settlement of Castel Trocino more than 1,300 years ago has revealed something both astonishing and unprecedented. It seems this middle-aged woman from the Middle Ages had been subjected to not one but two invasive surgical procedures which left telltale scars on the frontal and upper areas of her cranium. First Evidence of Brain Surgery from the Region The woman's well-preserved skull was examined by a team of experts from Italy, Spain, France, and the United Kingdom under the supervision of paleoanthropologist Giorgio Manzi from Sapienza University in Rome. The scientists have just published the results of their study in the International Journal of Osteoarchaeology, a peer-reviewed publication that supports the use of advanced science and technology to resolve archaeological riddles relating to health. Among the tombs excavated, the skull of an older female shows the first evidence of a cross-shaped bone modification on a living subject. The study authors wrote in their journal article. Macroscopic, microscopic, and CT scan analyses revealed signs of at least two sets of scraping marks. Specifically, SEM analysis shows that paramortem, before death, bone scraping traces are present on the skull. Both healed and non-healed defects suggest that the woman has received at least twice intentional bone modifications to address her condition. These scrapings on the cranial bone were likely administered as a part of a treatment for a condition of the head or brain, which may have caused the woman a lot of pain or possibly resulted in psychological or behavioral difficulties. Medieval Surgical Techniques Revealed by Modern Science The Longobard Necropolis, as the medieval cemetery at Castel Trocino has been labeled, was first excavated in the 19th century. At that time, hundreds of tombs were opened, and over the years, the skeletal remains and collections of grave goods recovered have been intensively studied. Unfortunately, only 19 skulls were found in good enough shape to be examined. As the technology has improved, archaeologists, anthropologists, and other researchers have continued to look closely at these early medieval period remains, trying to learn as much as they could about the health, physical characteristics, and lifestyles of the residents of Central Italy between 568 and 774 AD, when the necropolis was in use. The researchers involved in this new study used all the tools for macroscopic and microscopic analysis at their disposal and were able to show that the woman's skull had been subjected to medical procedures, which is why it had scars and deformations. Specific surgical techniques used involved the scraping of bone from the cranium as part of a medical treatment known as trepanation. This form of treatment was in fact discussed in European medieval literature, and some records of it go back even farther than that. But this is the very first time that scientists have been able to prove that an early medieval skull had been subjected to these risky procedures. Trepanation is an extremely ancient form of treatment for head injuries, brain injuries, chronic headaches, and behavioral issues. The most common type of trepanation recommends the drilling, cutting, and removal, and a circular section of skull bone from the cranium. This was supposedly done to relieve pressure in the head and brain. In the case of the woman from the central Italian Byzantine era cemetery, the physicians responsible for her treatment used different or additional techniques. The researchers found a well-heeled hole in the center of the cross-shaped scapings, which suggests they may have cut the cross out first as a way to better prepare the skull for the traditional surgical procedure.